What's up, everybody? It's Brandon, and I'm back with another knee-jerk reaction review. And yes, again, I'm covering yet another episode of the Child's Play TV series, just titled simply Chucky. This week on fucking Chucky. Yes, the fucks are still plentiful, and I love it. Um, we pick up right where we left off from the last episode. And I'm here to tell you, I'm going to start doing spoilers, but not spoilers of said episode we are on. I'm going to keep those not very vivid. I'll kind of talk around them like I normally do, but I will give spoilers that carry over from, you know, last week's episode or the week before that, because the way I look at it, it's just easier for me to explain. And also, if you're listening, like wanting to hear about the Chucky TV show, why would you start on episode three? So you're up to speed by now. And if you're not, and that is what you did, you decided to randomly start on episode three of my breakdown, click off of it. But here we are. What he is trying to do is, I did write this girl's name down. Normally, again, I don't write notes, but for some reason, these Chucky ones, I actually have. Um, Lexi, because I'm terrible with names. I wanted to get that right. Um, Chucky is basically baiting Jake at the end of this episode, episode two, to kill Lexi. Like, everybody, he's like, I don't have it in me. He's like, oh, we all just need a little push, Jake. Like, he's just trying to get him to succumb to those emotions because Lexi is pushing to the brink, especially in the last episode where she acted like this is something I couldn't explain, you know, because this was spoiler territory for last week's. Just like the spoiler territory for this week's will be kept, you know, under wraps. But last week's spoiler um, is that she was acting like his dad. She dressed up as his dad at this party and was acting like she was getting electrocuted. So he's just losing his mind. He already lost his mom, which can you can only imagine how hard that is on Jake. Now he loses his dad. He's having to go over here with his uncle, who he doesn't even care about. Like, he doesn't like the family with Junior and all that other shit. And now Junior's girl, Lexi, is just fucking acting like this. What a bitch. So Chucky's finding even more ways he can manipulate poor Jake. And I said... You know, explaining it is just like, wow, is this going to pick up this soon on last week's review? Um, we got even closer to that here. Um, we didn't quite get it, but Jake was fully locked and loaded in this one, man. Like, he, he, you, you're sitting there at times wondering, you're like, could he go through with this? Now, I won't say he did or didn't, but there is moments where you're like, wow, like, they're pushing it in this direction even more. Like, this shit could go down. And uh, beyond that, uh, speaking on the uncle, before I forget to say this for the millionth time, Devon fucking saw ya. I keep wanting to bring this up. It's so cool seeing Devon saw ya in this show. Because, I mean, when's the last time? I mean, I, don't get me wrong. What's the fucked up movie? The fan, the fanatic, whatever, with John Travolta. I saw him in there. That wasn't a good return. But it's cool seeing him in something that's at least somewhat quality. So, like, I'm having fun watching him, the Final Destination guy, you know, maybe have a little bit of a resurgence here. Casper is uh, not doing too bad in this show. I really like him as the uncle. Um, we really do get a few good callbacks in this one. I thought that were, you know, well done. More good one-liners from Chucky. Um, Snug as a bug. That was one of them that kind of made me crack up. I was like, man, the predicaments you can get this doll into. Uh, I mean, it's just such a good premise, dude. Chucky, just in general, the things you can do with them. And something that does is allowed to be further explored in a TV show. It's actually really working for me the more they dive deep. And one of the things, and this is revealed, you know, going into it, is Chucky's first kill. Like, we're going to get to see what is Chucky's first fucking kill. And I got to tell you, watching this, like, it kind of doesn't do it, like, in one scene. It's kind of drug out over the course of the episode. And then by the end of the episode, you kind of get to see what his first kill is or may be. And I will tell you this much, it's not necessarily what you would think. I was a little surprised by it. And then there's some good Chucky action in between and all that, where um, some characters, you're kind of feeling, you're like, wow, like are they going to kill them off right now? Is this going to go down already? They're definitely keeping, you know, keeping their hand on your pulse a little bit. They're, they're ratcheting it up. They're keeping, you know, things moving. Now, we're not getting crazy shit yet, but again, this is how shows work. They just keep you along for the ride just enough to where at the very end they can just throw the haymaker at you. So we'll see if when we get there just how big that haymaker is. But again, got to tell you guys, still keeping me interested, still keeping me on board. 
wasn't a great episode, but once again, I will give this a 7.5 out of 10. I think that's what I gave the last episode. We're not quite, again, to great yet, but again, we're just rolling along. I really enjoyed this episode. I'm looking forward to episode four. What else may come? Chucky TV series. Check it out. Surprisingly very, very solid so far. Watch. Let me know. See y'all.